Bringing Social Media Week back to Toronto is really good for the industry here. It's good for professionals. It makes Toronto more competitive on a global scale. It's all about, um, you know, for me, it's, it's really about showcasing all the incredible talent, um, expertise, and skills that we have right here in, in Toronto. Everyone that I've talked to is pretty excited. It's been a few years since we've done this, so it's nice to kind of see everyone and all the familiar faces back again. That's okay. I'm really happy to see the theater full. Um, it's incredible how many people, you know, will buy tickets 24 hours in advance or come up to the door and be like, sorry, I want to attend, I haven't bought a ticket yet, can you help me out? And basically, you know, we don't want to say no to people, we don't want to shut people out. We have a very inclusive mentality here, and it really shows. Being an influencer, has become an industry onto itself. Okay? Influence is no longer a byproduct of you being actually good at something. It is no longer a byproduct of you loving the product and using the product and sharing it because you just love it. No. Now it's all about I want to be famous. It's an ego driven industry. We are watching our friends' lives unfold in real time on our phone. Through rose colored glasses or rose colored Instagram filters, we know what's going on and when it's happening. And that's why momentary marketing is so important. Hundreds of thousands uh, and millions of views actually have gone towards this trend on our website. And we can definitely see why it's the cream rising to the top. This capitalizes on the fear of missing out. It's about interacting with your customers in real time. 88% of companies think that they are in the midst of digital transformation. The problem is that only 25% of them are solving it through anything but adding new technology to their world. So if you think that you are transforming digitally by being on Snapchat, I have a word or two to have with you. <laughs> I wanted to have fun. It's like singing in the shower. Uh, except that when I opened the curtains, there were 300,000 people there <laughs> listening to me, totally and completely unintended. If there's any advice, it would be to know your, know your audience. Know who you're talking to, use their language. Learn as much about them as you can uh, and respect them. You don't have to go to San Francisco, New York, or London to hear about social media to tap into the minds of, of experts and gurus. We have it right here in the city. There's been a bit of an absence for the last few years. I think we uh, sort of find each other in ad hoc scenarios on panels here and conferences there, but it's nice to have something that sort of unites us all and we can, we can find um, such commonality together. We wanted to help shape the content and also make sure that what we're having here is a really uh, collaborative session that's uh, that's a chance for us to kind of forge a media future for Toronto that's uh, that's unique for the city and I think we believe in that and we believe that that uh, communication and education going hand in hand are really uh, part of what we're about in creating that sustainable future for the city. We're going to keep doing this. We're going to do this for as long as we can. This is a movement and we're just getting started.